Welcome to another reading lesson. And today's reading lesson is as our final non-fiction um, reading lesson, which means it's one last text from the Weekly Junior. I know you've all really been enjoying um, reading um, from the Weekly Junior, which is great. They are accessible for you to read if um, you would like to. So please let your teachers know and we can upload some pictures um, of the text um, onto Seesaw. But today we are going to look at a debate and it's whether or not um, school pupils should wear uniforms at home. Now I know some of you are already wearing your uniforms at home whilst you are learning from home, which is great, um, but others of you aren't. So it's actually interesting to see um, yourself how many uh, pupils are wanting to wear school uniforms at home and how many do not want to. So we're going to read through this debate. Remember a debate is weighing up the positives and negatives of an argument and it's usually objective which means there is no right or wrong answer. It's completely um, someone's opinion how they would like to argue for um, the debate. So in this instance it might be yes you would uh, like to wear school uniforms or no you don't want to wear your school uniform at home. So let's read the text together. I'm going to share my screen and you should be able to see the text with me. OK, and we're going to do a paired reading activity, which means when I ask you to pause the video, that is your opportunity to pause the video and take ownership of the reading. You must make sure you're pausing the video and reading through the text, because if you don't, it you the text will not make sense and it will be very difficult to grasp information from the text if you haven't read it through. So please make sure you're pausing the video, thinking about your fluency whilst you read. OK, so my turn. I'm going to start first and we've got the big debate. The title of our debate is should pupils wear uniforms at home? Now you can see this is posed to us in the form of a question. So it's actually not saying people should wear uniforms at home. It's giving us an argument um, if they should or um, they shouldn't. So let's read on and see what um, the different arguments are. Some teachers say it helps students concentrate on their schoolwork. What you need to know. Most schools have been closed since the UK went into lockdown on the 23rd of March because of the coronavirus outbreak. Teachers and students have been finding new ways to teach and learn while working from home. Catherine Barbalsing, who is head teacher and founder of the Michaela Community School in London, has suggested it might be a good idea for some young people to wear school uniforms while they work from home during lockdown. Pupils in South Africa have been asked to wear school uniforms while studying from home to keep the school routine. Let's find out a little fact. Old school. Actually, I want you to read this fact. So you're going to read old school and write till the end. Now, once you've read that, if you want as a little extension task, you can work out how old the school uniform is. So take it from 2021 from um, so 2021 subtract um, 1552. And let's find out how old Christ Hospital's school uniform is. And maybe we can ask Miss Ryan how um, old the Franklin uniform is. So Ms. Ahad's going to continue. During lockdown, students and parents have had to find new ways to learn and work while everyone is at home. One of the advantages, so this is a positive, of not having to go into school or other than maybe getting to sleep in longer in the mornings is that most people don't have to wear school uniform. However, some people, including Catherine Barbalsing, head teacher at the Michaela Community School in London, has said that getting changed into school uniform is a good home educating tip because it automatically gets people in the right mindset for learning. Others say the rules should be relaxed and that wearing a school uniform at home is pointless. What do you think? So should students wear school uniforms while they are working from home? So this is again asking your own opinion. Do you think um, students should wear their school uniform whilst they work from home? OK, now I'd like you to read from. Yes, it is important to stick to rules. Um, right till the end of lockdown. So this is your segment of um, reading. You're going to pause the video now and read through this yes argument here. So please pause the video and read through that. Well done, year six. You all sounded like fluent readers there, really picking up on the punctuation and not reading through that. If you made a mistake whilst you uh, were reading, that's absolutely fine. Please go back into the sentence and reread the sentence so that way you understand um, it in context. Now, this is my turn. No, this is a time for relaxing the rules. If people are not at school, why should they have to wear uniform? Students don't have to do homework in their uniform, so there's no need to wear the, so there is no need to wear it to do schoolwork from home. If students wear their uniforms at home, they will have to change after lessons finish and finish it. And this means they will wear two sets of clothes. This creates more washing up and uses more water and energy, which is a waste. 
These are uniquely stressful and challenging times. So uniquely, it's almost like these are really odd times. We haven't experienced a, a pandemic like this before. Stressful and challenging times. So students should feel as comfortable as possible while they are learning. Students are more likely to feel relaxed in normal clothes rather than school uniform. It's time to give them a break and let them wear what they want during lockdown. So right now you're probably thinking, um, you're weighing out the positives and negatives of um, wearing your school uniform. It'd be interesting to know what your opinion is. So please make sure you comment that on Seesaw alongside your reading work for today. So if you haven't got an opinion just yet, this debate might help you generate one. So let's continue reading as there are as there is some more information. Yes, three three reasons why people should wear uniforms at home. So this summarises it into three short reasons why. Wearing a uniform can get students ready and prepared for the school day. It can help to switch them from home mode and put them in the frame of mind for lessons. Number two, lots of, pupils, lots of people have uniforms and they can be expensive, so it makes sense to use them. And number three, it is a school day and people should, follow, should still follow um, the same rules that they would at school. OK, you're now going to read the no arguments. So from here right until the end, the three reasons um, as to why people shouldn't wear their uniforms at home. So pause the video and have a read of those three reasons. Well done, that was short and simple. So now let's look at last week's poll. So this has nothing to do with the reading, so it's just summarising through the poll. And remember, we have actually completed pie charts in math, so you should be able to interpret this pie chart here. Last week's poll. Last week, we asked if there should be rules about what names parents can give their children. A, slightly, a slight majority of you thought there should uh, be controls to stop any really silly names. So I, the question I'm going to pose to you is what percentage percentage of children voted um, there should be rules, parents should be given rules um, when choosing their child's name. What percentage? Pause the video and write down the percentage on your sheet. Well done if you said 54%, that is correct. Okay, um, and we've just got a little box here which says, what do you think? Now that you have read a, little, uh, a bit more about it, tell us what you think by voting in our poll at at theweeklyjunior.co.uk slash uh, forward slash polls. Vote yes if you think people should wear uniforms at home or no if you don't. We'll publish the results next week. So these will probably go into the poll next week. And I know that this has actually gone through in the poll because we actually looked at a question last week and the poll was there. So maybe um, next time we do nonfiction reading um, when it's in date, we can actually do a poll and that'd be really nice to hear other people's ideas as well and get them presented um, in the weekly junior. So now what we're going to do is um, our questions. So we're going to flip back to my lesson and have a look at the different questions I have for you. OK, so my first question is, what is the main, what is the aim, sorry, of having a debate? What is the aim of having a debate? So I'm just thinking here, what is an aim of having a de debate? So I firstly, I know that having a debate allows, um, you know, thoughts and opinions to be presented to um, the reader. It gives two sides of an argument um, of an issue fairly. So what I'm going to do now is actually share my um, visualizer screen. So you should be able to see me write down my response. OK, so I've got uh, a written down number um, one, so that's what I'm going to write down. And the question is, what is the aim of a debate? So I'm going to write down, starting my sentence, the aim of a debate is to present two sides of an argument. argument or an issue i'm just going to go with issue two sides of an issue um fairly because remember you have to give both sides you cannot just go with what your personal opinion is you cannot be biased when you are debating okay so you have to take into consideration both sides this allows this allows readers to make up there because it's opinion belonging to them, their own minds
about the topic. Okay, so I'm just going to read that back to see if that makes sense. The aim of a debate is to present two sides of an issue, or of an issue or an argument fairly. Um, and you're also being objective. I could actually add that in as well. Being objective means that you are not um, taking sides. You are just um, being very specific with what you are saying. So if it is that um, school uniforms should be worn at school, you're not just portraying the argument that it should be at school. You're giving both sides of an argument to make it fair, which is why I've written fairly. We can't be biased. This allows readers to make up their own minds about the topic. Yeah, so we cannot divert the reader um, to a specific opinion, your own opinion. They need to make up their own minds. So now I've written down question number one and I've um, written my answer. You don't need to write down the question, just the number for the question. You simply just res uh, respond with your answer. OK, so let's over to you now with your questions. OK, so you have three sets of questions. The first one is factor opinion, factor opinion statement here. Um, number two is a true or false statement. And then number three is a question. So you need to pause the video here and have a go at these three questions. So please pause the video here and have a go at these three questions. Okay, please do not continue with the video unless you have finished showing yourself that integrity to mark your work honestly. Okay, factor opinion, most schools have been closed since we went into lockdown on the 23rd of March. Well, I definitely know a factor opinion, it's a grammar, um, a grammatical, um, aspect it's not looking at the text so this is actually a fact because we know that um, schools went into lockdown as we experienced that ourselves schools were closed um, from the 23rd of March um, due to lockdown so that is a fact it's not an opinion it's not a judgment coming from someone um, there's a date there that's been given so we can measure that as well number two true or false uh, Christ hospital school uniform was introduced in 1556 well I know um, we can find um, the information here and it's saying that it was introduced in 1556 so let's have a look um, it was introduced in 1552 and pupils um, still wear the same style today so this is actually false because it was introduced uh, in 1552 and not 1556 so this is four years too late um, number three, who has suggested it would be a good idea for some young people to wear school uniform at home so who so this is a person and suggested it would be a good idea uh, for some young people to wear school uniform at home. So let's look at um, where it could be. So I can see in this section here the words good idea. So I need to go back from uh, to the sentence and see uh, back to the beginning of the sentence to see um, who exactly said that. So Catherine Barbalsing, uh, who is the head teacher and founder of the Michaela Community School in London, has suggested that it might be a good idea for some young uh, people to wear school uniforms while they work from home during lockdown. So the person who has suggested it would be a good idea is Catherine Barbalsing. OK, if you have written down head teacher for the Michaela Community School, uh, that wouldn't be acceptable because it's asking about who exactly has. So it's Catherine Barbell Singh. And if you have written um, that she's a head teacher, that would also be acceptable for a mark. OK, so let's go on to our next set of questions. Remember, Miss Ahad is starting with this question here first. Um, so I'm going to read the question and then show you it's under my visualizer. True or false, teachers and parents have had to find new ways to learn and work during lockdown. Let's go over to my camera and have a look for that state, um, for that true or false statement. So true or false, parents uh, and teachers have had to find new ways to work during lockdown. I'm just going to look at my text here and it says during lockdown, this will help me um, find my answer because lockdown was in the uh, in the statement during lockdown students teachers and parents have had to find new ways to learn and work while everyone is at home that is true because it states here they have all had to find new ways to learn and work so simply for number two I'm just going to skip a line and write down true because that statement is true all you have to do is write down your answer please do not worry about writing the question okay and then I'm going to now go over to you and you are going to have a go at your three questions. So first one is using evidence from the text, give one advantage, just one, and it's an advantage. So we know that this is a positive one advantage of not having to go to school. Um, number five, why is getting into school uniform a good education, uh, a, sorry, a good home education tip? 
And then number six, a factor opinion, wearing school uniform at home is pointless. OK, so you have to pause the video here and have a go at these three questions. Well done for getting through those three questions. Now let's go and answer. Um, let's go and mark them. OK, so using evidence, so we're finding evidence from the text. So I've snipped, snipped the section of the text. We're going to find this piece of evidence. Um, you need to give one advantage of not having to go to school. So there are a few different advantages in this text, in this section of the text. So I'm actually going to um, give you um, all pieces. So if you have one of them, that's absolutely fine. Uh, one of the advantages of not having to go to school other than maybe um, getting to sleep in longer in the mornings. If you have written down that, I would accept it, but it's not 100% correct because the act the correct answer is, is that most pupils don't have to wear school uniform. OK, so if you have one of um, these pieces, one of um, e either, sorry, either getting to sleep in longer in the mornings or most people have to um, don't have to wear school uniform, you can give yourself the mark. OK. Uh, number five, why is getting into school uniform a good home educational tip? OK, so a good home educational tip. I need to look at um, these words within the text. Let's have a look. I can see it's at the bottom here. So. Michaela Community School in London has said that getting change into school uniform is a good home educating tip because it automatically gets people in the right mindset for learning. That is why. So this is a why question. So you must start with because and the reason why it because it automatically gets people in the right mindset for learning. Um, and I know some of you who actually are wearing their school uniform at home during this time um, have actually agreed with that and say it gets you in that routine of um, feeling like you're at school, which is great. Uh, number six, fact your opinion, wearing school uniform at home is pointless. Well, this is definitely an opinion because it's a judgment of someone. We know it's not a fact because it's not a measurable uh, statement. We cannot measure this. It, it, there's no percentage that says 67% uh, of children agree that, um, agree, have agreed that, um, wearing school uniform at home is a distraction, something like that, for example. That would be a fact because it's immeasurable. But whereas um, this statement here, wearing school uniform at home is pointless, that is opinion, it's a judgment of someone's. OK, next set of questions. Find and copy the word that suggests uniforms can be pricey. So this is my question. I'm going to share my visualizer here so you can see this. Find a copy of the words that suggest uniforms can be pricey. OK. So. I'm looking at this section here, the section you all have to read, and I'm looking for the word, uh, maybe a, a synonym for the word pricey within this uh, context. So I'm just scanning the text and I can see here uniforms can be expensive if students uh, have them, they should wear them. The word expensive is another synonym for pricey. So the word I would copy down is expensive. So I'm just going to write number three. I've skipped one line, remember thinking about my presentation and I'm just going to write in expensive because it's just asking me for the word and not the phrase. Expensive, okay. Now you're going to have a go at your question. So you have three questions here. Your first one is find and copy and that is a phrase that suggests lockdown is an unusual time and then um, number eight, using evidence from the text, give one reason why children should wear their uniform at home. So you're just only giving one reason using evidence from the text. And then number nine, it's true or false, around 70% of schools in England have a school uniform. So I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at these three questions. Well done if you've answered all three questions. Let's go in and mark. So the first one is find and copy a fr the phrase that suggests lockdown is an unusual time. OK, so we need to go into the text here and look for um, maybe a synonym for the word unusual. OK, and remember it's a phrase that we're looking for, not a word. OK, so 
these are not ordinary times and if wearing uniforms help pupils to get into the right frame of mind uh, for learning and preparing for lessons then it should be encouraged. The phrase that you need to um, copy in is these are not ordinary times. Not ordinary times suggest that these are quite unusual times, unprecedented times. You know, these are times, uh, the situation here, it's not something um, that happens all the time. It's very unusual. OK, so uh, the phrase is these are not ordinary times. Number eight, using evidence from the text, give one reason why children should wear their school uniform at home. OK, so a few pieces of evidence you can have here, but we're just um, writing down one. So if you have um, something that I've mentioned, please make sure you tick through. Firstly, one piece of evidence is that it is important to stick to rules. That is why uh, one reason children should wear uh, their uniforms at home. Um, and if wearing uniforms help people get into the right frame of mind for learning and preparing for lessons, then it should be encouraged. So again, thinking about getting into that right frame of mind by wearing your school uniforms. Uh, uniforms can be expensive and if students have them, they should wear them. Another reason as to why um, you should, uh, some children may agree that they should wear uniforms at home. Um, What's more, it might be harder for students to get back into a routine of wearing a uniform once to do uh, at school. So that is another reason why um, to get help you get back into that routine. And then besides, even if pupils are learning from home, it is still school day and people should follow them, uh, follow the same rules as they did before lockdown. So another piece of evidence that you could have written there. So I've highlighted four different pieces of evidence and you have and you need to pick uh, one. So please mark your response. And if you haven't got any of these, please just write in, um, pick one piece of evidence and copy that in. And finally, number nine, true or false, around 70% of schools in England have a uniform. So we're looking for around 70% within the text. Let's see if we can find that. I can firstly see that first sentence tells me exactly the percentage of um, schools in England that have a uniform and it's definitely not 70%, it's 90%, around 90% of schools in England have uniforms. So this statement here is false because it's not 70%, it's 90%. Now, I have my next question, which is why have uh, headings been used uh, in this debate? So it's my turn to answer that question and I'm thinking about why have um, headings been used? Why have they been used? So remember headings um, we have, no, this is time for relaxing rules. Yes, it's important to stick to rules. We have three rules, uh, three reasons why people should wear school uniforms at home and then three reasons why people shouldn't wear school uniforms at home. So these are the different headings we have. We also have what you need to know. So why do you think headings have been used throughout this debate? Oh, well, I'm going to write down I think that headings have been used and I know that's a because, um, sorry, it's a why question. So I need to start with because. So headings have been used because, because it breaks the debate into sections uh, that is for and against pupils wearing uniforms at home. And so my response is because it breaks the debate into sections that is for and against um, pupils wearing uniforms at home. OK, so that, that we've um, it's been broken up into sections, this article here, and it's only because um, there's two different debates. Like I said, um, a debate is presented in, with two sides to it. So the issue is presented fairly. Um, that is also another reason why. Now it's time over to you to do your next set of questions. So you have three questions using evidence from the text. Give one reason why some people may be against wearing their uniform at home. Number 11, find and copy the word that suggests we are in odd times. And then number 12, uh, factor opinion, students are more likely to feel relaxed in normal clothes rather, um, th uh, rather than school uniform. So you're going to have a go at these three questions. So pause the video here and have a go at these three questions. OK, so now it's time to answer the questions. Um, and mark your responses. So hoping that you have actually answered the questions, only continue with the video once you have finished the questions. Please show yourself that integrity to mark your work. OK, using evidence from the text, give one reason why some people may be against wearing their uniform at home. So again, it's only one reason and there's 
um, different uh, reasons, so I'm going to pick them all out for you. So firstly, this is a time for relaxing the rules. That could be one argument. Uh, if people at school, why, uh, why should they have to wear their uniforms? OK, another reason is students have to don't have to do homework in their uniform. So why should why do they need to wear their um, school uniform and do schoolwork at home? Uh, if students wear their uniforms at home, they will have to change after lessons finish. So it means wearing two sets of clothes and that also creates more washing up and uses more water and energy, which is a waste, um, not really good for the environment. Uh, these are uh, uniquely stressful and challenging times where students should feel comfortable as possible when they are learning. Some people might find their uniform uncomfortable and actually staying in their own clothes makes it more comfortable for them to learn, which, which could be another reason. Students are more likely to feel relaxed, again, another reason in normal clothes rather than school uniforms um, and it's time I wouldn't really say this last sentence is um, acceptable for that question so any of those uh, that I've picked out there please make sure you have at least one you only need one so if you haven't written that please copy it in with a different color pen so you know where to learn from your mistakes okay number 11 find a copy of the word that suggests that we are in odd time so we just need to find a copy of the word and I believe here it is. These are uniquely. So remember here I said these are kind of it's not happened before unprecedented times uniquely. Um, it's very it's tailored to this situation. So that is what we have for uniquely. I'm really sorry if my screen is flickering. It's not your screen. It's mine. The word you need to have copied in there is uniquely. OK, and then number 12, uh, factor opinion. Students are more likely to feel relaxed uh, in normal clothes rather than school uniform. This is definitely a, an opinion because it's what uh, someone thinks. It's students are more likely to feel relaxed in normal clothes rather than school clothes. Some people might agree that that um, uh, is true. Some people might agree that that's false. Um, also, you can actually argue this as a fact as well because it, co it can be seen as a fact, but because it's, there's no um, figures here to actually show that the statement uh, is a measurable statement I would definitely go with opinion here well done for marking through your work we have our last set of questions and then uh, you are going to read a section and send it in on seesaw okay so your last section these are questions for you to answer so you have number 13 14 and not 16 uh, 15 so you are going to firstly answer it can help uh, to switch them from home mode uh, and put them in the frame of mind for lessons. What does the word switch mean in this sentence? So you have four different uh, words here um, and you need to find one word that um, switch means within the sentence. So what does the word switch mean in this sentence? And you need to uh, you need to just pick one. Do not write all four options, just write one. Uh, number 14, find a copy of the phrase that suggests washing uniforms can be time consuming. And then number 15, it's an opinion question. This is your own opinion, your judgment. And that is, do you think sh uh, children should wear their uniform at home? Why? Use evidence from the text to support your answer. So please make sure you're answering this question, number 15. I don't want to just see one uh, sentence. Leia in uh, Oxford class last week, like I showed you um, at the beginning, of this week she answered that questions with uh, walls being reintroduced to Britain um, as a long paragraph really giving exploring her opinion giving um, evidence from the text and backing up her points so please make sure we are you know really trying with these response questions especially when it's your opinion it'd be really interesting to hear what your suggestions are maybe we can put forward um, these suggestions within our briefings to see what your peers think and maybe have a debate that would be very interesting so Pause the video now and have a go at these three questions. Remember, the last one is your opinion, so I can't I can't really mark that. So please upload that onto Cecil. But the number thirteen and fourteen we can mark together. OK, number thirteen, it can help to switch them from home mode and put them in the frame of mind for lesson. What does the word switch mean in this sentence? Well, switch, um, reverse. Mm, I definitely know reverse won't work in this context because that means to almost uh, go backwards in time. Uh, exchange, mm, exchange means you can change something for something, but I, I definitely think that we've got a stronger synonym uh, within our um, different words. And alteration, definitely, that means to maybe make something bigger or smaller. For example, a tailor can alter a, a jacket. They can make it bigger for you or a little bit bigger for you or um, make it smaller by taking uh, off some fabric. Definitely in this context, the word change will uh, fit. 
because it's a synonym of switch, which means to change something. So if you put it back into the sentence, it can help to change um, them from a home mode and put them in the frame of mind um, for lessons. So it's almost saying that you're switching, your brain almost switched minds when you wear your school uniform because you think you're at school and not at home. So that could be one reason as to your argument for wearing school uniform. Number 14, find a copy of the phrase uh, that suggests washing school uniform um, can be time consuming. So time consuming, making uh, saying that it takes quite long and I definitely know that this will be in your no argument so this will be against people's wearing school uniforms at home and um, the evidence the phrase here is wearing school uniforms creates more washing which wastes water and energy so that is what you need to copy in for this section here and then number 15 that's your opinion so you are just going to form your judgment so I'd like you to upload that on Cecil that is just your personal opinion that you're going to uh, write down so use evidence from the text to support your answer so well done for getting through today's reading lesson I will see you all in tomorrow's reading lesson where we are starting um, our new novel uh, our fiction novel um, in reading so have a lovely morning and I'll see you all um, tomorrow bye